Hey everyone, welcome back to another Narebo video. My name is Scott, and as you can see, I'm drawing the Delta Airlines livery over top of my Airbus A220-300 template. And as always, you can get my templates on my website, link in the description below. It's the free 1024 wide JPEG versions. They are completely free to download, so you can go grab those, uh, however many of them you want, and do whatever you want with them. <laughs> so, yeah, I wasn't even actually going to make a video about this, because the Delta Airlines livery is so simple, and as a matter of fact, I gotta be honest, I don't really like it all that much. I mean, yeah, it's beautiful, it's clean, but it's, it's so simple, and it's so easy, but then I got thinking that, you know what, this is an excellent video just to show that starting with a simple livery is great for anyone just getting started with airliner art. A lot of times, uh, whenever I talk to somebody who's just getting started, they want to do the most complex liveries first. Like, for example, that Garuda Indonesia livery that I did, or that video that I did a couple weeks ago, uh, that's the kind of livery that everyone seems to want to do <laughs> right from the beginning, and then it's, that's not really the way to go. So I recommend going with something easy, such as this Delta Airlines livery. And uh, yeah, looking at what I'm doing here, it's just really simple. I'm just adding the blocks of color in first over top of my template. I'm drawing all the shapes, like for example, that, that bottom curve or that bottom arc in Adobe Illustrator, and then I'm just pasting it into Photoshop. And then the livery is so simple otherwise that I'm just in Photoshop creating all the elements directly there. I don't particularly like drawing shapes and elements in Photoshop. I like doing that all in Adobe Illustrator simply because I have more control. But with the Delta Airlines livery, it's just easier to stay in Photoshop and, and get everything done there. Now, I do know people who work exclusively in Adobe Illustrator or exclusively in Photoshop, but I do a little bit of both. So, okay, now onto the logo. And again, this is another reason why I think starting with a simple livery such as the Delta livery is great because the logo is really simple. It's just four triangles, mesh together to look like one 3D Delta logo or widget. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. It's the Delta widget. And it's real simple. Just tracing all the elements here in Adobe Illustrator. And then even the Delta typeface is relatively simple as well. And, you know, I could have gone out on the internet and tried to find the exact typeface for this, but Chances are Delta created this from scratch or their marketing team or whoever did this livery created it from scratch. And it's so simple that you just might as well trace it in Adobe Illustrator or any other vector drawing program that you like. It's a great way to learn how to trace and create typography on your own. And, you know, this doesn't take long. It's, it's sped up, of course. What you're seeing here is sped up. But the entire process took maybe just... 10 minutes, not even that, to get the entire entire thing. It's basic geometric shapes, 90 degree angles. Uh, you know, it just doesn't really get any easier than this. I've been doing a lot of classic airline livery designs or airliner arts recently, and some of those typefaces, they don't exist. You can't just go out and download them. You have to trace everything by hand here in Adobe Illustrator. And it's so complicated. Some of those typefaces are so intricate and it's really advanced level work. And coming back to this Delta livery and this Delta logo, it's so refreshing. It's so easy to, to work with and recreate on my own and put it over top of my template that, uh, yeah, this was super easy. So yeah, I'm back in Adobe Photoshop now. I've got all my elements created in Illustrator and I'm pasting in the graphics or the, you know, the Delta widget and the, the Delta text one by one, just so I can manipulate them independently of one another. Uh, I don't like bringing everything over as one solid piece because then you're kind of stuck. You, you can't really break those pieces apart in Photoshop. I mean, yeah, you can move pieces individually with the, with the direct selection tool, but it's just, it's, it's messy. I don't like doing that. I like having each piece on its own separate layer. And just so you know too, I bring everything over as vector smart objects. That way I can retain uh, the scaling ability. If I need to scale something up or, or scale it down, I can do that. And uh, just a 
what am I doing here? Oh, I actually messed up a little bit on the colors. So when I created it in Adobe Illustrator, I just took the, the colors directly from the logo or that image that I found. And then when I pasted it over into Photoshop to put on the vertical stabilizer, I realized the colors were a little bit too dull. So I just, I just bumped them up a little bit, made it just a little, little spicier, <laughs> just gave it a little bit more contrast just so it pops. And again, you know, that's something when it comes to airliner art, you have to exaggerate a little bit. I, the colors that I got from that image that I was tracing in Adobe Illustrator, they were probably correct. I, I think I got that direct from Delta. That was from their brand marketing guidelines. But when I put it on the airplane, it was a little bit dull. So I just I decided to make it a little bit more contrasty, a little a little bit brighter, and it's okay. It's, it's just I mean, this is this is hand created art. If you want to make something your style or if you want to emphasize something or any element that you want to emphasize, I mean, you can do that because it's yours. It's hand created. Uh, you can do what you want. You are the artist. And that's what I chose to do here. So yeah, the colors may not be exactly right, but they're, they're good enough for who they're for, I guess. Okay, so I'm using elements from a past illustration that I've done, a Delta 737-800 it looked like. And I stole the registration. Just trying to see if I can find a better font for that registration text. And again, I never really know what those typefaces are. Uh, DIN is usually a good one. I mean, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I use DIN a lot. Uh, sometimes it's just Arial. I mean, that's it's as simple as that. And uh, yeah, moving the uh, the flag into position there. And it's nice when you have a large catalog of illustrations from which to steal elements from. <laughs> I mean, because if I didn't have that Delta 737-800 illustration already, I'd have to go out and recreate that, that American flag and have to figure out the, the, uh, the registration elements again, or just from scratch, and that always takes time. But if you're working from a large catalog of illustrations, it really speeds up the process. And that's just another advantage to doing airliner art for a long time. You're going to build up a very large library of illustrations, and you can just pick and choose pieces from past illustrations, and uh, you know, just it makes the process go so much faster. And I've got over 300 airliner art illustrations at this point to uh, to pick and choose from, to pick elements off of, you know, Sky Team logos, Star Alliance logos, American flags, flags for pretty much any country. I've got it all. I've been there, done that. And yeah, so it looks like I'm done now and I'm just adding my typical reflection that I like to do or the gloss down the middle of the fuselage that I like to do for all of my illustrations. So yeah, just about done here. And again, getting back to the, uh, the the thing about starting simple with airliner art. I actually have a full video course that teaches how to do airliner art. It's designed for beginners. I spent a lot of time thinking about all the things that I struggled with when I was started doing airliner art way back in the day. And I just made a course around that. All those things that I struggled with it's all laid out in a very simple and easy to follow process. So go down in the description below this video. There's a link to that video course. And there's actually a preview video there that you can check out to get a gist of, of what it's all about and how it may help you become the airliner artist that you've always wanted to be. <laughs> so anyway, this illustration is done. Just about, uh, what am I doing here? It looks like some final organization, adjusting some colors there. I think that blue was too dark and I was just trying to make it pop just a little bit more. Again, it's just all about exaggeration, uh, you know, taking a little bit of an artistic license to do what I want to do to make my illustration the way that I want it. And yeah, there it is. The colors may not be totally 100% correct, but the Delta A220-300 is a beautiful airplane and yeah, that's all there is to say about this one. It's a simple livery. It's nice. It's a beautiful airplane. And I can't think of anything else to say. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And I'll catch you in the next one.